Hi, this is Wes Fryer. It's April the 18th, 2017, and I'd like to show you how you can use the YouTube app on your iPhone to upload videos to a YouTube channel. Now, before I show that, we'll just go into the photo roll, and I'm going to point out that you can tap when you find a video on what's called the share square. It's that square that has an arrow pointing out of it and you've got different options that'll appear here and if you don't have YouTube you know, first you can move it to be in that location but when you tap YouTube here you'll be asked to sign into your account and you can't switch in between accounts quite as easily um, and you also can't add copyright friendly music if you want to on top of your video so while you can um, add your your um, videos or upload your videos directly from your photo roll I recommend using the YouTube app so that's what we're gonna do here now in the past I've used uh, another app called YouTube capture but all of that functionality is now integrated here inside the YouTube app and probably the first thing that you want to do is check your account up in the upper right corner you can see an icon there and I'm logged into my school account right now but if I tap there on my name I'm going to see my account for my email, all of the video channels that I have access to, and these other accounts that I have access to. So I'm actually going to select my own personal channel that I'm going to upload. And now when I go to my videos, I'm going to be seeing videos that are on that channel. So that's probably the first thing is to just go ahead and you know make sure you're on the correct channel. And that shows how you can readily tap on that icon and switch in between not only accounts, but also um, channels that you can have because you can have multiple channels uh, connected to a single YouTube account so now that I have selected the channel I want I'm going to click on the icon there at the top that looks like a video camera it's to the left of the magnifying glass when you're on the home screen uh, I guess when I go to library I was thinking that it would just pop up and, and show that um, yeah, there it is. See in the bottom right corner when I go to my videos, there's a uh, icon of, of a camera. I can tap that as well if I want to. So if I'm on videos, I can tap that. Or at the top, I can click, click that icon. And this is going to let me record a video, but in this case, I'm going to upload what I've previously done. And I shot this little 12-second uh, video of these ducks uh, at the park yesterday we were going on a little walk so I'm just gonna gonna do this as an example now notice first of all at the bottom I can trim the video if I don't want to start right there at the beginning I could choose to start it later or end it sooner and so I can trim the video before it's uploaded that's awesome um, and those are the scissors that I have selected by default there at the bottom if I go to the middle I could apply some filters like I could in you know snapchat or Instagram uh, or I think even in Facebook now I don't want to really want to do that but here this is fun there's a little place to add music and this is again something that used to be inside YouTube capture but there's even more choices so these are all featured tracks and these are copyright friendly tracks um, you can select them by genre or mood you can also select things that are on your device but in that case it's not necessarily going to be copyright cleared so I'd recommend going with music that they have here uh, let's say we wanted to just be happy and so I can play or I'll, I can go ahead and select one of these and it's going to it's going to add that song it's going to actually download the track and um, put it with my video um, I can also preview those and anyway I won't spend more time uh, doing that but uh, if I go ahead and reload that There's a little uh, audio, and I'm, I don't know if my screen capture is, is recording that as well, but just some fun little music. Um, totally optional, but it's there, and it's copyright friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Next. It's going to remind me what channel um, I have to upload to, and if I you know that's the wrong channel, I'll have to go back and change that. And uh, let's just call this uh, Ducks on the Move. And if I wanted to, I could add a description. I can also change my privacy setting. Uh, between public unlisted or private I'll leave this as public and I'll simply tap the upload button and now that video which will go pretty quick here it's just 12 seconds is uploading to YouTube and it is also going to process now if this is a longer video it'll take longer to upload as well as longer to process um, but once it is done processing then that video will be viewable on my channel and if I've made it public other people who just visit my channel can see that if it's unlisted I'm going to have to share that link 
Um, I can share that with students inside Google Classroom or Seesaw or whatever learning management system I'm using. I can email that out. I can share it on social media, however I would like to share that. So that's now going to become part of my video library. Dun, 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 and there it is, Ducks on the Move. And it is there. So I can tap on it here and I, you know, add it to a playlist, copy it, uh, share it, you know, email it to uh, somebody, whatever I would like to do. So I hope that has been helpful to you. And I would encourage you, if you don't already, to follow me on Twitter. I am W Fryer on Twitter. And I tend to share quite a bit about educational technology. So if this has been helpful to you, you can leave a comment on the video or you can reach out to me on Twitter and let me know. So good luck and have fun using the YouTube app to upload videos from your iPhone.